What is up, guys? MLB 12, the show. The series that started this channel and the series that really gave me the inspiration to continue on with doing sports video game content for you guys. The man, the myth, the legend, KB. If you were not around back in the days of the MLB 12, the show series, I did 97 episodes of KB. He was definitely the guy that really started my channel. He really was the one that pushed me to do uh, amazing Road to the Show videos. And if you are not familiar with him, I suggest going back and watching some of these videos. But I put a few clips in there just so you can kind of see the man, the myth, the legend himself, KB. No, KB had an extraordinary career. He broke most every single career record for MLB 12 The Show. Uh, home runs, RBIs, um, betting average, all that. He destroyed all the records that he could. And um, we thought that was the end of KB. So with MLB 14, the show now released on the PS4, a brand new fresh start for the series, for the channel, for the game, I asked and you guys responded. You could check out these votes. KB destroyed all other competition as far as who do you want to see in MLB 14, the show? Who do you guys want me to play in MLB 14, the show? And you guys responded overwhelmingly to bring back KB. Now, I was clearly hesitant. I really didn't even want to put KB on the vote, but I've heard nothing but people chanting bring back KB now I know there's gonna be a few of you guys who were around the whole time when I did MLB 12 the show and when I did MLB 13 the show you guys knew what KB brought to the table you knew how amazing the guy was and you also know how he ended his career and how he left in a blaze of glory <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it was very very difficult decision very very hard for me to say I'm gonna bring KB back but you guys voted you guys wanted to see it so here we go so what this is gonna be is not just KB of old this is be a brand new KB from start from scratch and how it's gonna work is that we're gonna say this is KB a brand new KB a right fielding KB instead of a first baseman. Um, he is going to be playing for whatever team he gets drafted by. Hopefully it is not the Chicago White Sox. So maybe we can consider this a, re a reboot of the legend KB if he does not get drafted by the Chicago White Sox. And he breaks that curse. What would happen if KB played on a different team when he started his career? Because as you know, KB was stuck on the Chicago White Sox. For his first six seasons in the MLB. Arbitration can be a bitch. That's for sure. Uh, for the, you, those of you guys that do not know how the MLB works. When you are a rookie. And you get drafted by a team. You are obligated to play for that team for six, six seasons. Now obviously you can negotiate different contracts and stuff with that team. But you. all That team owns all the rights to you unless they trade you or decide to release you outright which never happens um, so you are basically stuck to sign arbitration type contracts with that team for the first six seasons of your career with KB back in MLB 12 the show uh, I was drafted by the New York or the San Francisco Giants sorry not football. <laughs> San Francisco Giants, I was drafted by them. They traded me off to the White Sox, and then I sat in the White Sox organization, the terrible White Sox organization, where we never won anything. We didn't spend any money. We traded off all of our good assets to bring in young talent that n never panned out, except for KB. So he was really never given a cast of people to work with that uh, you know could bring those guys to the next level. So unfortunately for KB, he sat and rotted for six years in, in the Chicago White Sox organization, never winning anything. Finally, after that, he got a breakout chance when he was traded to the Atlanta Braves and brought home a championship in his first season on a real team. So that's kind of the goal with this series right now is let's see what happens with KB. 
bring him into this new amazing game of MLB 14 the show here on the PS4 and all of its 1080p glorious quality and let's see what happens if KB gets drafted by a good team or gets put on a good team can he overcome the obstacles that he overcame when uh, he was in MLB 12 the show so that's really my uh, my guiding light right now for how this series is gonna go about obviously for you guys that are new to the channel, you're just going to enjoy some good baseball. For those of you guys that have been around for a while, you're just going to have to get over the fact that KB is definitely back and he's going to uh, be playing a, a different position and obviously look a little bit different just because you can't recreate a legend that, I mean, like that. It's just, it's just impossible. He was a one-of-a-kind person. So, uh, obviously, we're going to all still call this guy KB. We're going to... Um, Champ bodied when he hits home runs, but uh, he's he's clearly not the old KB. Uh, it's just a brand new guy that we're gonna start from scratch. So, what you can expect in this series is definitely what you've expected from me from the very beginning. Plenty of road to the show content. I'm gonna try to be posting um, three to four videos of KB road to the show every week for the next. Uh, who knows how long for as long as we can continue going on with this uh, definitely a lot of content live streaming this guy every Wednesday and Thursday nights over on twitch.tv slash and and uh, you can definitely expect to see this this uh, series go all the way till the end um, one other thing I am planning for MLB 14 the show is a online franchise with you guys the viewers um, Twitch subscribers get automatic invites to the online franchise. For the rest of you guys, I should have a video out at the end of this week that will explain how you can sign up to become a part of the online franchise if you're interested. It's going to be on the PS4 only, so you need to obviously own a PS4 with PSN Plus and own MLB 14 The Show for PS4. If you have both of those, you can definitely play in the online franchise with me and other viewers. Um... Like I said, I will have a video out probably on Friday-ish that will explain how you can sign up and then how I'm going to go ahead and pick the players for the online franchise. And then once that's done, I will get a hold of all the people that are selected to play and we'll figure out how to choose teams for, those, um, for this online franchise. So if you're interested at all, make sure you stick around and watch for a video on Friday. Um, other than that, I streamed this game a whole lot yesterday. It was amazing. Had a lot of people that came and watched and had a very, very good time. Uh, the game itself is very good. It's very similar to the PS3 version, so if you played that, you won't be lost at all. However, um, the graphics are just simply amazing. Um, the lighting and everything in this game is so just so gorgeous, but... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys soon. Amateur Showcase will be up next. See ya. Peace.